As many people struggle through the pandemic, many others are doing what they can to help. WFMY News 2's Jalen Gilkey found out how a small Winston-Salem school is helping in a big way. In a big way indeed. Many of us are blessed, myself included, and don't have to worry about food security. But it's become a reality for a large number of people during this pandemic. So the students at Calvary Day School wanted to make sure those people received the help they needed. Students and parents collected almost 6,000 pounds of food for the Winston-Salem Rescue Mission. It was way more than, it, than they expected to come in. 16 barrels, 6,400 pounds, and the rescue mission, let us know that equates to 5,333 meals. Head of school Richard Hardy is thrilled at how his school came together to get behind such a great cause. That by doing something very small, it can make a big difference in the lives of other people. And hopefully it inspires uh, within the hearts of our students a desire not just to do this at one time during the year, but where it would be part of their life pattern or their life practice to be a blessing to other people. I just love these type of stories when people come together for the betterment of others and they do what they can. And they might not even know these people, but their impact will be felt throughout the area. Well, and don't think for a minute that the kids don't, uh, you know, you're teaching them a lesson that does stay. He's right. This lesson will stay with them. I've noticed it with my little ones, too, when they do something like this at the elementary school. They remember it next time. And kind of the innocence of a child is a really cool thing when it comes to the act of giving. And I love that they're encouraging us and their students. Um, and hopefully, you know, they'll take that out into their communities, like you were saying, and do similar things to help others. And I think it's so important that people see, especially at a young age, that there are people who are different than them when it mm -hmm. comes to food insecurity or, uh, you know, socioeconomic status. I mean, we all kind of live in our little bubble. And so it's nice to be able to get out of that bubble and see that there are other people out there and some of them might be struggling and there are ways to help. And you're absolutely right, Chad. It's all about getting outside your bubble, outside of your comfort zone, because not everyone is living in that plush of a bubble that you're in. Uh, and we know that uh, food banks, especially our local ones here, have seen more people than ever throughout the pandemic with unemployment numbers being higher. So I think that this is a perfect opportunity to to talk about many different topics. And so great that they just blew that record or that goal right out of the water. <laughs> absolutely. Mr. Hardy did mention, he said, you know, most schools, a lot of schools, they use the, uh, they do their food drives during holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas time, but they chose to do the end of the winter because he knew there wouldn't be as great of a supply mm. and the need would be just as high.